So, here's a storm is a standard MOBA framework, the five on five. Your Dota, your League of Legends, your Heroes of New Earth. And, if you want to go as far, the League of Legends reskinned game uh, for Lord of the Rings or any of those other ones. But, it takes a little different approach than a League of Legends or a Dota. It's got a team shared experience. There is no single individual player that has, like, can get fed. It's, if you're fifth, level 15, everyone on the team is level 15. It's a shared level. So you can't feed a kid, but you can feed a team. So if you die repeatedly, obviously the other team is going to get advantage, but not the one player. And that's, that's where it's different. But it's also different in the aspect of items. There are no items in Heroes of the Storm. There are only variations of of ability charts. So you, you get to pick bonuses to abilities every four or so levels that increase a certain aspect of your character. For instance, Sylvanas has a level one talent, it's, it's referred to as, that you can either Increase your withering, one of your abilities, fire range. Reduce another one's cooldown. Triple the damage to non-hero characters. Or have your basic attacks destroy ammo on the turrets. Turrets in this game have ammo. Only a limited amount of shots that slowly replenish. So if there's lots of minions coming up against the tower, it runs out of ammunition and it can't fire. But this is kind of an interesting aspect, but it also takes away some of the depth. I believe of of League or or Dota. Uh, without having items, you can't do those unorthodox builds, like a attack damage Annie in League or <laughs> uh, or a tank attack damage character in Dota. So some of those not quite standard builds. And so you only have the certain number of options. So that limits the kind of meta games but another aspect is that the maps are all different they all have side objectives like in one you're you're fighting over doubloons so that you can pay a pirate to shoot at the other team another one you're gathering offerings so that uh, a god will excuse me curse the other team and reduce their defenses essentially to zero everything's life becomes one for minions and their turrets don't fire anymore. It's kind of puts a lot of emphasis on the objectives where if you don't go after these objectives, your standard push likely won't work if if you can even destroy them at all. Some objectives you literally cannot destroy the enemy without completing the objectives. There's also some un unorthodox heroes. Chogal is a new one that they came out with where one player plays ahead that can cast abilities and the other play plays a head that can cast abilities and walk around. And you're essentially one character just walking around. Another one, my personal favorite, is Abathur, which is a character that is not built for any kind of frontline contact combat, but he can uh, symbiote other characters, allowing you to cast abilities off of the other character while buffing the other character. And this allows you to jump around and essentially stabilize any lane that may have an issue. He works best in one that has objectives that aren't entirely um, hero-based, because it allows you to push when you're jumping from character to character, allows you to get that extra push, and it's something that the enemy has to react to. He can also create a duplicate of a hero, or alternatively, make a massive creep that does more damage the more creeps that he kills. Um, I think as a game, it's fun. Uh, the team aspect is, is enjoyable. And as you would assume, when you play by yourself, it's just not even close to as fun as when you play with three or four or even a full team. It's not like League or Dota where you could just solo queue and, well, admittedly, it is sometimes harsh. You can still have a good time. In 
in Heroes of the Storm, it's not... It's not that it isn't fun. It's just that a lot of the aspects are team-based. So when you're playing by yourself, you can't just push a lane and, and you know, well, I won my lane. Well, that, there is no real lanes to win. It's objective-based. And without people communicating with you, it becomes very difficult. So if you're playing with five players, it's a lot more fun than if you're playing with yourself. But I mean, that's obvious, right? <laughs> playing with yourself, it's not going to be as fun. <sighs> but I mean, as it is fun, there's still not that, that oh, I just want to play one more that your Dota or your League has. But also, even games like Star Wars Battlefront, which honestly is not that great of a game, but it's still like, well, I just want to play one more. And I found that Heroes of the Storm don't really have that. It may be something that grows on you, but I'm level 20 and I still don't feel like, yeah, I gotta play one more. Uh, I mean, it's fun. I'll play a couple. But it's not something like League, where I spent 40 hours a week playing, or Dota for that matter, which I also spent 40 hours a week. Got a lot of MOBA experience, but this, uh, I think it's just different. Whereas Dota is the original MOBA, and League is kind of just a, a dumbed-down version of Dota. No offense to you League players, but some of the aspects of Dota have kind of been reduced, denying... I won't get into that. I don't like League. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> but, yeah, the excitement range on this game is is in a correlation to the number of people you have on your team. Solo queue sucks. I'd say it's worth playing. It's a free game. Um, definitely give it a few tries. Sometimes, you know, it, it may be your type of game, especially if you're into those Blizzard games. Uh, the characters are fun. I mean, you get to play as Illidan, Arthas, Sylvanas, you know, even your Rex are <laughs> the Starcraft ones are my personal favorite, although they all tend to be assassins. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it is fun to see the, the interacting of the Blizzard characters. But overall, I'd give this game a 7 out of 10. Uh, I mean, it plays good, but it just doesn't have, doesn't have enough to make it out of the 7. Like and subscribe, the future depends on it. You know, it does. So, like and subscribe.